Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to have the continuation of neutralization and salts. Alright, so based from our discussion yesterday, we said that neutralization is the reaction between hydronium ion and hydroxide. So if there's a reaction between hydronium ion that has a formula of H sub 3 O plus uh, and then uh, it reacts with hydroxide with a chemical formula of OH negative 1, it will produce water. So in this equation, you will see that hydronium ion reacts with hydroxide. It gives you a product of water. In the Arrhenius theory, the role played by water as a solvent and the phenomenon of ionic dissociation are central to acid-base behavior. Its major weakness was that it failed to recognize that acid-base reactions can occur in the gas phase and in non-ionizable solvents such as benzene. To improve the Arrhenius definition of an acid and a base, Johannes Nicolaus Brunster, a Danish chemist, and Thomas Lowry, a British chemist, each offered a new set of definitions. In the brunster lowry theory, an acid is an any substance that donates a proton to another substance, and a base is any substance that can accept a proton from any other substance. In short, an acid is a proton donor, and a base is a proton acceptor. This redefinition does not contradict the Arrhenius um, definition. An Arrhenius acid is a bronsted Lowry acid that has dissociated in water by transferring its proton to the solvent. An Arrhenius base is also a bronsted Lowry base because it accepts a proton in neutralization. The difference is that it is no longer the only base that can exist in water. Any molecular or ionic species is considered a base for as long as it can accept proton either in a solution or in a gas phase reaction. When acid donates a proton to water, it becomes a potential proton acceptor and therefore a base. When water accepts a proton, it acts as a base and becomes a potential acid. An acid and a base that are related by a transfer of protons are called a conjugate acid-base pair. Acids can be defined as proton donors and bases can be defined as proton acceptors. So in the given figure, in the first reaction, water acts as a base, accepting a proton from hydrogen chloride. In the second reaction, water acts as an acid, donating a proton to the ammonia. 